Hello everybody, I am just finishing up the OJ Simpson double video that I was working on, but I was up here talking to Robin about how I want to try and make this clearer, and I don't find the kettle fountain is probably as clear as it could be because I always have to run the sugar bowl or something with it. So I'm just this is just another experiment. This is an idea I had. I'm gonna flip this camera around, show you what I'm working on. Okay, so I've gone out and I got a bunch of this hose here again and I had to fit it onto the uh, little pump right here. My plan is to have it, same thing, come out through the spout out there but then I want to make a coil with the hose so that it's big at the top and it gets smaller as it goes down towards this So, and I want to poke holes all through through this hose right here with like a needle. Okay, so as the water comes through, because I'm going to block the end off of it however length I use here, three feet or whatever, I'm going to block the end so the water just doesn't come straight out the end. And it should be forced to seep out all the pinholes and hopefully it'll make more of a pattern of water dripping. When it calls to you, you gotta go with what what it's telling you, right? Try this new invention. <laughs> Got my assistant here working on a clothes wire, clothes hanger wire. What the hell's that? It's plastic. No, it's not. It's metal inside. It's just plastic coated. Good help is hard to find. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You're fired. You're crazy. Am I really crazy? Okay, folks. So what we did was we secured this basket, actually, by twist tying at three points. So one right in the center so it can't swivel back and forth and on each side over there with twist ties and then I did like a little sewing pattern on the back with these black ones okay so we made our coil so it comes up comes down it's actually secured inside there it pokes out there's you can see the uh, we, we took the clothes hanger this plastic thing she had stuck it through the hose and then used that to bend the hose and it actually pokes through and clips out on this side here so the water should come up out of the pump and then circle right now I'm gonna pierce this through with a needle uh, whether it'll work or not who knows and I gotta get the right size of holes through there to alleviate the pressure coming from the pump right so it's gonna be a little bit of an experimentation but so far this is what we got chewing gum don't eat the tin foil I'm gonna MacGyver the shit out of this Mm -hmm. You make a lousy cameraman. Get in there. That's what she said. There we go. Okay, so we were discussing this and we figure we might still be able to use this if we get this in here, put it back on the little hook that it goes on. So some of the drops, because we haven't put any holes in there yet, we can actually fashion it so that some of the drops may come into this thing. It may gather the water enough that it, for when it finally filters through here, it'll be a little bigger drops coming from there, right? So it, it's all about getting noise and chunkiness. So now she's got her sewing kit here. This is the one that called to me immediately. This is the one that called to me immediately. What do you think? Yeah, it one's a little thicker. So it'll make holes a little bit bigger than just a normal. Should we go small first and try it? Or just say, to hell with it. Poke the holes and pray. I think that one will be fine. Do we want the holes just to go straight through both sides. What if it spurts out? <laughs> the pressure's too much and then it like shoots all over the place. 
I think you should try to keep the holes to the inside. So just in once, no double penetration. Yeah. It's like you wanted to say something more on that. No. I don't want it up in the top because then it'll like, well, if it spurts up, gravity will pull it back down. Yeah. So I could pierce them like straight, straight through. I'm just, it's kind of hard to get in there. Okay, so we got, this is our first hole. I'm only coming in from the bottom so that the water will come out there. And I'll try and keep them on the inside of the coil. Okay, so we put seven holes in this so far, but then we got thinking they might be too small. So I don't want to poke holes, holes all the way down and then find out it's not working. So we are going to try it right now. So we will run the camera just to see if we capture any voices as well. Okay guys, this is absolutely amazing. This is only the second time out of 175 sessions that I've done that I've actually heard this. I mentioned it before. Now whether this is one of the videos I put on there for you guys, I don't recall because I do a lot of stuff for myself, different sessions, experimenting. I don't know. But you're going to hear it this time, okay? So what happens is I turn on the tap, right? And we're going to get some messages. We've recorded it. So I have the original film from this camera. Then I filtered it. So I've got the original film sitting on this screen in some software I'm working with putting the video together. On this monitor over here, I've got the filtered version that I've run through the software. So first of all, I'm not listening. When I turn that tap on and I go to this monitor, what well, the first thing I'm doing is I'm looking to see if I see waveforms. That means, yep, the spirits are talking. I can actually physically see it. Okay, so I need to go here and listen to see what they said. So when I turned on the tap and I went there, I hear a message. It says, your papa is waiting for you. Great. Nice, warm feeling. Like, that's a good little message. So I'm going to go back to this, where I've got the software, the original film sitting that has not been touched. And I'm going to listen to that. I'm going to cut in when I turn the tap on, and I'm going to put his words in there. Well, while I'm listening to the tap run, I can hear with my own ears those exact same words. Now, this, this is very important because what that tells us is we can hear what they are saying without any software interpretation, which means, A, yes, those spirits are actually definitely talking to us at that tap. The words are there. B, that software that some people say, oh, the software is putting the words in there. It's not. Because this has not been touched by any software. This is a huge discovery, okay? So I'm going to show you the sound of the tap. And you will hear, hopefully, now I'm 45 years old. Apparently we all hear different things at different ages, right? Different tones. So I can hear this. This is why I'm so excited because I'm like, whoa, I actually hear those words in there. Maybe you can, maybe you can't, I don't know. But if you can hear it, let me know down below in the comments because this is super important. This is awesome. Is this going to be better spirits or is this uh, just a crazy idea? Okay, let's see. Focus on the uh, hose contraption there. Seeing, oh, see, so there's something we didn't think about. Actually, need more water in there. And so, the water, when it came through one of the holes I was watching here, it runs down. I was thinking it would just be enough that it would drip right out, but I think we need bigger holes for that. Come on, baby, look at the water coming up. Go, go, go. Oh, it is. 
working, but it's not, the pump's not. It's like the pump is, the juice to the pump is not working or something. It's very slow. Maybe the pressure is not enough. Yeah, I think it doesn't have enough pressure. But there's lots of action going on down there. So if it gets, ah, that's probably the suction, the siphoning feature, right? So if the water is coming out at the bottom, it's enough to draw more water up. I bet you that's what it is. So what we'll do is we'll make a small cut at the bottom. And let's see. Once the water gets to that cut, it should be enough to suck it out. There we go. Now it's working. Except we got this spray problem. <laughs> Did you also notice it's not making a dripping sound? Like those little drops are not enough. Put the holes a little bigger up at the top. I think this experiment's gone to hell and back. I'll put a couple of them in here and see what happens. Come on, baby. Get the juice going. You gotta get the air out of the system. Which is a problem with all the holes. I mean, in theory, it's working. You can see the drops collecting and starting to fall, but... It just doesn't have enough pressure. Yeah, they're kind of like silent little drops. Back to the drawing board, Jeeves. It's Mr. Jeeves to you. So, my other idea was to have a big pan or a lid, like off of an old pot or something, so when the water comes through, a lot more holes than what this one has. So basically the same thing as this, only with holes everywhere. Okay, so we put the kettle fountain back the way it was. Actually, it's better than it was because we left this attached to the base. It's quite sturdy now, so when that imp tries to jump through there, that's not going to come off anymore. I've angled this hose properly, or a little better than it was before, because I always had to mess with it, moving it up and down. So we're going to run it again right now just to make sure it's all good, and we'll see if we capture some more voices. Put some water in it. Hey spirits, I know you can hear me and I know you're talking right now. So we have it hooked up back the old way. The idea I was discussing by putting the pan on there with all the holes, would that be better? The real question is, what do we do with this thing? You know, it might actually be better with it being full like that. I never fill it up. Is it better if I fill the kettle right up like that? You can hear it more, right? Yeah, maybe their voices are coming through better right now. Maybe this is all we need. Maybe the whole experiment for today was to get us to do this. What are we having for supper tonight, spirits?
You're making that, and what else? Cannelloni. You know how she likes her cannelloni. Now I want to watch Grumpy Old Men. <laughs> Grace, I'm going to take a picture. I'm going to take a picture. I'm going to take a picture. I'm going to take a picture.